Hello everyone, I am Abed Rahman of Turkey. And I'm Faisal of Turkey. Today, we're going over the lesson 13 of the Arduino starter kit, which is called IR receiver module. IR receiver modules are used for wireless control using the infrared light. This lesson wants us to connect the IR receiver module to the Arduino Uno board. In addition, we're going to be using a library called irremote.zip that is in the illegal CD when you buy the starter kit. The IR receiver module has a photo cell that detects infrared light, which is used in TV remotes, for example. They are located at the front of the remote along with an IR LED that emits IR pulses. These pulses are not visible to the human eye. You have to make sure that you have matching LEDs. Otherwise, the IR receiver module won't be able to de de detect it since it has a specific range of frequencies it can sense. We don't need a breadboard for this lesson. We just need an Uno, uh, Uno board, three F2M jumper wires, IR receiver module, um, and, and a remote that accompanies the kit. There are only three connections in the IR receiver module. One for power, which is R, the other for ground, and the last one for the signal that is connected to pin 11, which is the letter Y. We start the code by including the library that is needed to run the code, which is irremote.h. Then we define an integer named receiver with the value 11, which is the pin on the UNO board. The next two lines tell the board that we are using an IR receiver module. After that, the void function that uses a switch statement, which is named translate to IR, it takes the infrared signal from the IR remote in hexadecimal form. The IR receiver module then tries to match the hexadecimal values to all of these values. If it, is, if it successfully finds a match, it'll execute the print statement next to the matching hexadecimal value in the serial port. Otherwise, it prints to the serial port other button with the hexadecimal value that, is, that it couldn't translate. translate. The program will wait for half a second or 500 milliseconds, then, then, the setup, then set up the serial port and start the IR receiver module. The last lines of the program tell the IR receiver module that if it received a signal, it'll run the switch statement and continues to do this in a loop. Now that I connected the UNO board to the computer, I will now upload it to the UNO uh, uh, board. And now I will open the serial monitor. And as we said in the code before, it'll say it'll bring the statement. That means it's working. And now I'll push the button zero to the the, the IR receiver module. And yeah, and it got it right. Let's try one. Got it correct. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power button, the volume down, volume up, etc. Um, so now I will be using another remote and test out if it works. 
and uh and obviously it won't work because these the ir pulses that comes out from this remote is different from the ir pulses that come out from this remote so let's just test it out just for fun uh let me clear okay i'll press okay yeah so it put, uh, it says our other button with this uh value and yeah let's try some other buttons if it works yeah yeah and that's it thank you